Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Well in this video, we'll talk about Canada's new immigration landscape, updates for students and temporary residents. So, to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Canada has recently announced significant updates that impact students and temporary residents seeking to expedite their visa and permit processes. These changes include the cessation of flag polling for post-graduation work permit PGWP, applications at the border and ongoing discussions between provincial and federal governments regarding immigration policies. This video delves into these updates, explaining their implications for international students and temporary workers, and providing insights into the future of immigration and study visas in Canada. If you any query please contact us on Instagram and Gmail. Flag polling, the policy change. Flag polling is a practice where temporary residents in Canada, such as those on study visas, work permits, or other categories, leave the country briefly and re-enter to expedite the processing of their immigration documents. This method has been popular because it allows applicants to receive permits faster than the standard processing times within Canada. Why flag polling is ending? If you any query please contact us on Instagram and Gmail. The Canadian Immigration Minister announced the termination of flag polling, citing concerns that it diverts border officers' attention from their primary duty of ensuring national security. The focus on processing immigration documents at the border compromises the efficiency and effectiveness of border security operations. To address these concerns, the government aims to improve within Canada processing times, allowing temporary residents to obtain necessary permits without resorting to flag polling. Enhancements in within Canada processing, to compensate for the end of flag polling, the Canadian government plans to enhance the processing infrastructure within the country. This includes reducing processing times for applications submitted domestically, ensuring that students and temporary workers can receive their permits more quickly. These improvements aim to streamline the process, making it more efficient and less reliant on border interactions. Immigration policies, federal versus provincial tensions. In addition to changes in processing practices, there is ongoing tension between the federal government and provinces like Quebec over immigration policies. The provinces have raised concerns about the federal government's immigration targets and the capacity to accommodate new residents. Provincial concerns. Provinces, particularly Quebec, argue that the federal government's immigration targets are unrealistic given the current infrastructure. They cite insufficient housing and medical facilities to support the increasing number of immigrants. Quebec has seen a significant rise in its population due to immigration, with an increase of 270,000 people over two years, putting a strain on its resources. Federal Government Stance The federal government maintains that increased immigration is essential for the country's economic growth and addressing labor shortages. They emphasize the need for a collaborative approach to manage immigration effectively, ensuring that newcomers can integrate smoothly into Canadian society. Possible Referendum If you any query please contact us on Instagram and Gmail. Quebec has suggested the possibility of a referendum to let its residents decide on the federal government's immigration policies. This move underscores the province's strong stance on managing its immigration independently and prioritizing its residents' needs and preferences. Implications for international students the changes in immigration policies and the end of flag polling have significant implications for international students in Canada. Here's what students need to know. Applying for study permits and PGWPs. International students will need to rely more on the standard processing channels within Canada for their study permits and PGWPs. The government's promise to reduce processing time should alleviate some concerns, but students must plan their applications carefully to avoid delays. Staying informed. Students should stay informed about the latest updates from Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada IRCC. Regularly checking the IRCC website and consulting with immigration advisors at their institutions can help navigate the changes effectively. If you any query please contact us on Instagram and Gmail. Impact on Work Opportunities The PGWP is crucial for international students seeking work experience in Canada post-graduation. The end of flag polling might initially seem like a setback, but the improved within Canada processing time should ensure that students can still access these opportunities without undue delay. Conclusion. Navigating the changes. Canada's recent updates to its immigration and visa policies reflect a commitment to balancing security concerns with the need to streamline administrative processes. While the end of flag polling may pose challenges for some, the government's efforts to improve within Canada processing times aim to mitigate these issues. 
international students and temporary workers should stay informed and proactive, ensuring they can navigate these changes smoothly and continue to benefit from the opportunities that Canada offers. If you any query please contact us on Instagram and Gmail. Expanded analysis, the broader context and future directions. To further understand the broader implications of these changes, it's essential to delve into the context of Canada's immigration landscape, the significance of international students to the Canadian economy, and potential future directions for immigration policies. Canada's immigration landscape. Canada has long been known for its welcoming approach to immigrants, playing a critical role in the country's demographic and economic growth. With an aging population and low birth rates, immigration is crucial for sustaining the labor force and supporting economic development. Policies have traditionally focused on attracting skilled workers, international students, and entrepreneurs to bolster various sectors. The Role of International Students International students contribute significantly to Canada's economy. They bring in billions of dollars annually through tuition fees and living expenses and contribute to the cultural diversity of Canadian campuses and communities. Post-graduation, many international students transition to permanent residency, filling essential roles in the workforce and addressing skills shortages, challenges in the current system. Despite the benefits, the current immigration system faces challenges. Processing delays, bureaucratic hurdles, and regional disparities in accommodating new immigrants have created friction between federal and provincial governments. The recent policy changes aim to address some of these issues, but there is still much work to be done to create a more efficient and equitable system. Potential future directions. Enhanced digital infrastructure. Investing in digital infrastructure to streamline application processes can significantly reduce processing times. Automated systems for document verification and decision-making can help manage the volume of applications more efficiently. Collaborative Federal-Provincial Framework Developing a more collaborative framework between federal and provincial governments is essential. This includes aligning immigration targets with provincial capacities and ensuring equitable distribution of resources to support newcomers. Focus on integration programs Strengthening integration programs to help immigrants and international students adapt to Canadian society is crucial. Language training, employment support, and community engagement initiatives can improve the overall experience and retention of newcomers. Flexible immigration policies. Adapting immigration policies to be more flexible and responsive to changing economic conditions can help address labor market needs more effectively. This includes updating the criteria for permanent residency and work permits to reflect current demands. Practical advice for students and temporary workers. Given these updates and potential future directions, here are some practical tips for students and temporary workers navigating Canada's immigration system. Seek professional guidance. Consider consulting with immigration consultants or advisors at your institution for personalized advice and support throughout the application process. Utilize institutional resources. Many educational institutions offer resources and support services for international students. Take advantage of workshops, information sessions, and counseling services to stay informed and prepared. That is all for today, in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next video. Till then, take care.